Hey everyone, how are all you guys doing today? I hope you guys are all well. This is Arcane, bringing you guys some Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer. And it is some more... I was gonna say wanted then, <laughs> but it is some more deathmatch gameplay for you guys. I actually get a really good start to the game just by standing on this little porchway stairway thingy here. I, mean, I think I get like 1,000 points just by standing over here, which is a really good start. But it's actually a competitive lobby going on here, and we got, apart from the prestige, random prestiges, we got two good players who I know. One of them is Divine Serenity, who quite a lot of people will know in the Assassin's Creed community. A really, really good player. I think managed to hit Prestige 99 and AC3. No boosting or hacking going on. It's legit. So she is a really, really good player. And then we've also got another friend, um, Miss Jenny. Now, if you don't know who she is, she's actually Swaggy Wynn's girlfriend, and she is good. I mean, to be honest with you, she's going to be obviously have been trained by Swaggy Wynn, who is an amazing deathmatch player. Everyone knows who that guy is. And anyone trained by him is going to be awesome. So, this is actually quite a tough lobby, and I play really, really well. I'm using, obviously, my competitive deathmatch set which I did describe in my previous video um, but if any of you guys did not watch that, I'll quickly run it down it's basically Poison, Disguise and the Gun and um, what I've actually done is I've, I've actually took Blender off because as, as I said before that Blender is I'm finding that a bit disappointing in AC4 so and I've, I've put um, Determined on because obviously really good players, they're obviously going to know who you are anyway so that'll just get me some extra points, obviously not losing my um, contested half of the bit, <laughs> half of the score, and um, obviously got my kill streak on with the boost cooldowns, so that'll be helping out there. Haven't really got that use for knives, and in this match, especially where there's not really that many players who are going to be running on roofs because there isn't any, I think the gun will get me a few extra points here and there. So that's the set I've got on. Um, I wanted to quickly talk about like people who say competitive lobbies. I've, I've seen these days uh, somebody will call a lobby competitive and they'll get a lot of crap for it. And it's been going around. I've seen it a bit. People complaining this isn't competitive. So I just wanted to say like I feel that competitive for me is different for different people. To be honest, because if I'm playing an assassin game which I know I'm not very good on assassin. If I'm playing in a random lobby with all prestiges who are good, that for me is going to be competitive. Some people think competitive these days has to just be, <coughs> excuse me, a whole lobby full of pro players, I don't know who everybody knows, or well-known players who are really good, or people know they're good. But to me that's not the case. If I'm playing, like I just said, an assassin game where I'm not very good and everybody else is, to me, that's going to be competitive. So, or in this case, we've got like you say, a couple of people who know what they're doing. Even if it's a noob lobby with three people who know what they're doing, that to me is still competitive because, and they're the actually competitive games I like, where you've got a random lobby and you've got like you say, three people. Even though the, the random lobby consist 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 sorry of prestiges or lower levels or medium level players, but a random lobby with just say two pro players or three pro players in there. I think I actually enjoy them comp competitive matches more than a bunch a, a, a bunch of just say eight players who are really good because random lobbies people take them differently. Like <clears throat> I can I love like random lobbies when because you just don't know how they're gonna play and they obviously don't know how you play and that is a big key factor when you're playing. <clears throat> people do not know how you play. I mean how many focuses I can pick up on, um, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going, on um, random people in the lobbies where I couldn't not do that in competitive. So it's, it's interesting to see really two pro, pro players clashing it out in random lobbies, see how they take it differently. So I think, that's, I think that's really good. So people getting a lot of crap for calling their lobbies competitive, I think that's, that's wrong to be honest with you. Competitive is different for different people. Um, so that's just what I wanted to say some about that. And as you, as you will have seen in the title, is I wanted to give some shout-outs. 
Now, I've not actually given any shout-outs before, so I am excited to be doing this. Um, I wanted to actually give two. The first one is, he goes by the name of Swift Avenger. He's a friend, he's a clan friend as well. Now, on his channel, he's mainly known for the Last of Us multiplayer. Um, he, but he does actually play Assassin's Creed 3, uh, Assassin's Creed, sorry, Assassin's Creed multiplayer. And he's actually been posting a lot of Assassin's Creed 4. So he started to play that a lot now as well. So I want to give a shout out to him. Go check his channel out. He is really good at Assassin's Creed. I think you'll enjoy his videos. Um, he, does, he, lots, he does lots of other stuff as well, but his Assassin's Creed stuff is really good. What obviously you guys on my channel will mainly be watching. So go check that out. I think his his videos are really good mainly because he puts the time and effort in to put commentaries on all of his videos he does and every single video he does he'll always try and give um, some tips and tricks to help people out as well which is really nice. I think that's cool. So yeah, that's my first shout out what I wanted to do. Obviously I'll be leaving links and annotations to both channels in the description and on the video. And the second one is Valder on 10. You might know him. He's just started a YouTube channel. He is an awesome Assassin's Creed multiplayer gamer as well. And the reason why I wanted to give a shout out to him, like I just said, is because he's just started out and when you're just starting out, obviously you need a bit of support and help from everyone to get them views, likes and subscribers because obviously coming in nowadays as well when there's a lot of AC multiplayer videos coming out it is hard to get a bit noticed and known and so I thought I'd do my bit and give him a bit of a shout out so please go check him out he's really good as well so that's my two sub my two subscribers <laughs> my two um, shout outs for you guys so we got three minutes left of this game so I may as well just finish it off with the gameplay commentary and you can see Divine Serenity is in the lead at the moment it's always tough going against her um, oh she's my target now so I'm gonna go and there the L1 prompts of people running around which I think to be honest the L1 prompts they should be they should be toned down a bit pick up a nice silent kill there 350 points and just now waiting for my next target which is the Lady Black got four people on her so probably not gonna get a probably chance on this unless I find her quickly this is one map where I actually struggle sometimes to actually see the players I mean it, it is a quite wide and open map but obviously this is the map where you get the high scores obviously <laughs> every single high score game I've seen so far has been on this map due to all the bench kills which to be honest with you I think need to be toned down the, I mean what times three you get times three on it every time you get a bench kill I'm sure you guarantee like 1200 points at least I think that could be toned down a little to be honest with you grab kills are okay because they're still a bit hard to get but with the amount of benches on this map seriously but we'll see we'll see what happens anyway where's my target some stuff's going down at the back of the screen there and I'm actually struggling to see where th well, who is this character anyway they the made them look really nice it's hard to figure out who it is but I think I think the guy there they give herself away there and I'm gonna walk in and get the hidden k nice kill with Assassin's Creed 4 what I've actually been doing is I've in Assassin's Creed 3 and Revelation, I'd probably risk a lot of focuses and hiddens. But obviously, what I've, what I've started doing now is just going in for them silent kills. Silent and incognito kills there. Uh, that is what you want to be doing, to be honest with you. Like, no point in trying to go for focuses or extra hidden, especially in good lobbies as well. Because in good lobbies, people are going to know exactly who you are and they'll, if you risk anything, they're going to stun you. So, And I think that's what actually wins me this game, just going in for them silent incognito kills at the end there. And really increases my score at the end. Like, I'm going to quickly go in for this kill. I thought he would contest it, but he didn't. And I, I'm going to run away because I know I'll be, I'm going to be visible to my pursuers. So I'll probably run back and try get a stun but no one seems to be in the mood to be killing me so I'm just gonna quickly use my gun there pick up to pick up a savior get what 150 points and actually if, yeah I got a nice stun in there I, I didn't actually know who he was but I saw the savior on his head so I thought he might be my a bit of ACR style 
And I think I'm gonna get killed here. Lag kill at the end there, but no matter, it's okay. Get winning the game with 1,800 points to finish it off. Thank you very much for watching the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Please check out the channels as well. And I think I will leave it there. Thank you very much. See ya.